So, here you see I've got a ThinkPad T430. Now, I want to do some AC mods for the Wi-Fi on this soon, and put a better battery in. But due to the whitelists on the current BIOSes, this is currently not possible. But with a new modification you can do to your ThinkPad called IV Rain or 1V Rain, whatever you want to call it, this will allow you to unlock the BIOS, the advanced menu, all sorts of things like that, without having to take the laptop apart and do anything bad, uh, flash anything to it and have to buy other things. So what you're going to want to do is you're, I will have the link in the description to open this page up, this GitHub page. Now what this allows you to do is remove the whitelist, all that stuff. You've probably you know what you you probably know what you wanted to do if you're looking at this guide. Anyway, this is for an XT30, an XT30T, a T430, a T430S, a T530, and a W530. Um, some T430 systems or whatever. X30 or whatever may not come with the 12 megabyte BIOS chip and may instead ship with the 16 or 128 megabyte. So that means that these might not be supported, which would mean that it would fail to install. So if there was a failure, um, anyway, um, up here there is a main link to download the image. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to press that button, that here button, but I've got it open here. Now this will open another page, the IV Rain or 1V Rain thing. So what this allows you to do is all this and that. You're going to press the download the IV Rain image. This will open this Google Drive. You press download. Now this is 500 megabytes, so it is quite big. Um, another requirement you will have to have is a memory stick that is roughly around 4 gigabytes or more. Just to be on the safe side. Um, also make sure there's nothing important on it as it will wipe it. Anyway, say you have downloaded all of this. You will have this zip in your downloads folder. What you're going to want to do is open this zip. Sorry. You're going to want to extract that. Now anyway, I've extracted the image. Now what you're going to want to do is you'll need a, another part, another anything to sort of make a USB drive. So I would recommend Rufus. You can download this, I will have a link to it in the description. You can download the portable version or the installer. Anyway, um, once you have Rufus or whatever software you're using, you will open it up, insert the memory stick, and as you can see, there you go. And you will select the image, you'll make sure that it creates the installer and anyway that should be that so you should probably have to work out how to make the installer there's many ways to flash an image to a memory stick so you can boot from it you can just search make a bootable image online and it will show you software but anyway um, what you would usually do is you'd find the image after you've extracted it and just press start because it is a FAT32 it will know what to make it for anyway Say, as I've already made the memory stick, I will not be flashing it again because it takes a while, about 10 15 minutes maybe. Anyway, say you've got the memory stick done and you now want to get ready to do this. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to tell you all that I'm not responsible and there is 100% a possibility that you could brick your laptop doing this, as this does, in, as this does indeed play with the uh, BIOS chip. Um, you can usually get this repaired, but you'd have to take it apart and reflash the BIOS using special equipment. But anyway, or just buy another motherboard. But anyway, um, just so you know. Now, what you're going to want, to, what you need to know before installing, um, ensure you're on a compatible BIOS version. So you need to be, if you're on a X230, you will need to be on 2.6, 2.58. Or whatever the versions, this will all be on the down in the description. I do have another video on how to downgrade the BIOS on a T430 without having to take it apart or anything. I will also link that. Um, it is a bit sort of difficult, but you should be able to do it if you're very sort of good at things like this. Anyway, um, say you've done the memory stick and you want to just get it going with it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to restart or just power off the machine. So let's power off my T430. Now we're going to have to go into the BIOS. 
Now to go into the BIOS, as you can see it's turned off, turn the machine back on again, sorry, and you're going to press F1, this will enter the BIOS. Um, now there is a few things we need to change, sorry it's my finger, um, there's a few things we'll need to change in the BIOS. So if you haven't updated your BIOS before and you're on 2.64 or below on a T430, um, you, sh you won't need to downgrade. If you're on anything higher, then you might need to watch my downgrade video, as I've said uh, a few minutes ago. But anyway, what you're going to want to do is go to USB, make sure all of this is enabled. Then you're going to want to go to Startup. Now, you must be in UEFI mode, not Legacy. If you are in Legacy mode, sorry, but this is not going to work. And if you were to change it to UEFI, you would have to reinstall Windows as it, as it would not ever boot again. But anyway... Um, you must have it on UEFI only and you must have CSM support on. It does not matter if you're on quick mode or full mode or whatever, or diagnostics, it does not matter. Anyway, as long as you've got those settings, you can restart the machine. Now, you're going to want to restart the machine again, but press F12 this time. Sorry, it's out of focus. As you can see, it's now saying enter in boot menu. Now, whatever your memory stick is called, um, also make sure it's in the USB 3.0 ports. Anyway, my memory stick is a general U disk, so I'm just going to boot this. Now, this will start to boot the memory stick, and as you can see, it's loading it up. So, it will boot the memory stick. Now, this will remove the whitelist on your BIOS, and as I've said, this can damage your system. So, just be aware that if something goes wrong, I'm not liable for anything. But anyway, as you can see, it is now starting to work. It will come up with all this writing and stuff while it does its magic. Obviously, it's found a compatible BIOS because I'm on 2.64. It says your ping, your ThinkPad will suspend as part of the process. Press the power button to wake it up. Press enter, press enter to start the jailbreak. As you can see, it will now begin to jailbreak the laptop. Waiting for wake from S3 Sleep. Now, when it goes to sleep, you're going to want to turn it on again. As you can see it will now continue. Enter a choice. Now I want to flash the modified BIOS because I haven't got a custom one. You can flash custom BIOSes but I do not really know. Now anyway, let's press 1. Press enter. Press enter key to begin flashing your jailbroken BIOS. Please do not let your ThinkPad shut off during this process. You will need a hard hardware programmer to fix it. So also make sure that you are 100% connected up to power. So in my case, I'm plugged in. So let's just press enter because I'm now plugged in. If you are on battery power, I would never, ever, ever do this process because if you run out of power, your laptop is bricked. As you can see, it is now doing what it needs to do. As you can see it's reading the flash from the memory stick. If you've got a dodgy memory stick, do not touch it or whatever in case it loses contact. And again, you would end up breaking your machine. So it's now flashing the BIOS. This is the scary bit. But you know... Of course, this BIOS flash will make your laptop uh, very much future-proof because you will be able to add AC Wi-Fi cards, and AC Wi-Fi is the future. So this will definitely help things out with speeds, you know, 5G, 2G, all this stuff, you know. And it, I don't think this will modify the keyboard because some people usually do this for the EC, so you can have the cap spot light on if you were to do the classic 7-row mod which when you put the keyboard from the T420 and the T430 
um, this will not um, be this. The only thing that this what this flash does not do is change the EC. You have to still take it apart and reflash it manually. So please do not follow this guide if you was to if you're doing this just for that, as it will not work. And it does say that in the GitHub um, thingy. I would recommend having a look at that before. Obviously everything to know about it is on the page and this will all be in the description. Now, obviously I have my tutorial on how to downgrade the BIOS, but I would recommend you have a read through this so you know exactly what you're doing. Um, also, only do this if you're on a 30 series, not a T440. Anyway, as you can see it is now done. So let's restart my ThinkPad. So what I'm going to want to do... I'm going to go into the BIOS to make sure to see if the advanced menu is unlocked. If the advanced menu is in your BIOS, this means that you have. So, as you can see, it's restarting. Let's see, it powers off again. Power it on. As long as I get the boot logo, that means it's working. Ignore the error, that is usual. So as you can see, the flash has gone as it should have, because I now have access to the advanced menu, which is usually hidden. This means that you can now overclock your CPU, if you was to put a quad core in here. And this also means that you can... Um, what's the other thing you can do? Mm, you can put an AC Wi-Fi card, as I will do in. I may do a video on this in the future. And you can also put... Obviously, this does remove the battery whitelist, so you can put third-party par batteries in without it having a go at you for it. So, basically, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And that is my tutorial for today. Um, any questions in the description? I will always reply as I have notifications on on my phone. Don't be afraid to ask anything. And that's me done for today. And goodbye.